How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I want to give you a quick update because the market started to fall, the crypto market started to fall pretty quickly with Bitcoin going from about 29,700 or so down to 27,700, even further down I believe than that, within about an hour. And there are a couple different reasons for that. If you don't mind, please hit subscribe, turn on that bell notification, hit the like button. And if you want to know what I'm buying and selling, you can check out the link underneath the video to the Patreon. Now, I'm going to keep this short for you. This is my third video today and hopefully the last video, but Bitcoin made a big move and there are a couple different reasons. First of all, there are some reports that Mt. Gox, uh, Mt. Gox wallets and U.S. government wallets are moving Bitcoin. Arkham Alert said that they are actually possibly dumping Bitcoin, but there are unconfirmed rumors at this point. So maybe that's part of it. We know that the US government has a lot of Bitcoin. The other thing is we have a huge amount of open interest that was wiped out within an hour, 300 million. And we're seeing crypto liquidations come in. Uh, the total crypto liquidations right now looks like about 200 million in the last four hours. And it was about, it was 70 million just over the last hour when I looked just a minute ago. And that was after the big move down. And the thing about this is I knew something was going on, uh, that someone was making a big play because I was watching Bitcoin and it was moving up and down $500 per Bitcoin within a second. Like the, the tickers were updating every second. It was $500 moves up and down. And we've seen it where Bitcoin doesn't move more than $20 for like an hour or something like that. But there's a lot of volatility there. So someone is selling. The question is just who, and obviously it could just be a whale trying to cause some liquidation, some long liquidations, buy right back in at a lower price and then send it right back up. And, you know, we knew this morning that there were some short liquidations. Now it's just the other side of that coin, which is something that you have to be careful of. If you're not willing to take the risk to long or to short, you got to be careful with those because they can change quickly. So long term, I don't think it's really going to affect crypto. There's no big news coming out. And it seems like things are getting better. We have GDP coming in tomorrow, PC. E Friday. So we're going to have to get some of those numbers, see how that all turns out. And then that could obviously push up the market as well for crypto. Earnings are looking good. Facebook just came in with earnings, really strong revenue beat by about 4%, about billion dollars and about a, tw about a 10% beat on earnings per share. They also have strong guidance. Wall Street was expecting about 29.5 billion for Q2 and Facebook saying 29.5 to 32 billion in revenue. So upping the guidance essentially all really good news the stock itself is up like 12 percent after hours 10 percent after hours tack that on to microsoft tack that on to google and we're looking at a pretty good earnings season so i think that will definitely help out crypto let me know your thoughts in the comment section below let me know if you think mount gox wallets or the u.s government wallets are dumping bitcoin i would not be surprised if they took this chance if the u.s government took this chance to wipe out some open interest and to send bitcoin's price back down uh right when all this other good stuff is happening right when banks are collapsing frc down 30 percent here today after being down 50 percent then basically saying hey we're not going to help you we're not going to give you any more money to borrow. That's what they said earlier today. So I would not be surprised if they're trying to make it look like Bitcoin is just as much of a risk as their own banks, but who knows? Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.